What's going on YouTube? Today I'm going to talk to you guys about this new Tascam. It is the Tascam DR10L. This thing is tiny. It's really tiny. Um, I'm used to using the, the Zoom H1. Uh, to give you a comparison, here's a Tascam DR40. So you can see it's very, very small. No mics on top, but um, unlike the Zoom H1, I never use the microphones. I always just plug this directly in to get some clean audio and use a lapel mic. So for me, the very first thing is convenience. It's very easy to slip in somebody's pocket, um, clip on their belt, very, very small. So for me to have a recorder that has the mics built in didn't really do anything for me. So that's number one why I bought this. Number two, it comes with a screw lock. I don't ever have to worry about this slipping off, coming out, anything like that. The uh, Zoom H1s had it on the side, so you had something that was sticking out. You need an L bracket. You need something to hold it there. On the side, they have the record button on this. It's pretty hard to push up. So once you push up, it's not going to stop. It's not going to turn off on you. It's really safe. So I can put this in the groom's pocket the minister's pocket, push record, and not have to worry about it. And usually I'll start before the ceremony, put a 16 gig card in there, and just let the thing run all day and not have to worry about it. So this thing has um, a lot of auto features, auto gains, dual recording. Um, there's a lot of good options for it. So we're gonna do some tests today. I'll show you the different things and show you what I like and what I don't like about it. Um, so you guys let me know. Uh, the first test is touching the cord. Um, see how much it goes. Because a lot of times you're getting up there, they have suit coats on and the rubbing and picking up um, some of the noises. So that, that was a, a big concern of mine when I first got this with this mic. So everybody knows. It comes with this recorder and it also comes with this lapel microphone. Um, for me, I'm still debating whether I like this uh, microphone or I should upgrade to something else. So it's a lot like the Sennheiser uh, microphones where it does have the screw cap on there. It doesn't come with a wind filter, but that's something pretty cheap to add to it. So another thing that's really cool is when this is recording, if you try to go into the menu and change anything, you can't do that, it's locked. The very first thing that you can switch in there is the mic gain, and they have a bunch of different settings. You can set it on L, ML, M, H, R, H plus. Um, M is very good for dialogue. I like the auto gains, but you can kind of dial it in for what kind of sound you're looking for when you're recording your subject. Uh, next option is you can cut off the lows. For me, I want the lows cut off. Um, I usually end up bringing down a lot of my lows because it's usually the deep rumbling or the wind outside. So having it be able to cut off the lows is a good adaptation for me um, in the presets. Uh, next thing on there is you can turn a limiter on. Um, it is a digital limiter so it doesn't work as quite as well. So I'm going to do a test right now and you'll see the difference. Hey, hey, hey. So if the volume peaks really quick, it's not going to be able to catch that. But if you're speaking really quietly on the auto set and then your volume is really high for a consistent amount of time, if you change environments or they start speaking louder consistently, it's going to auto adjust for that loud level. So the distortion where it was distorted at first is now going to bring it down and it's going to, you know, be maximized for, for that volume without peaking. Next thing you can do is pick the sample rate, whether you want 44.1 or 48. I always choose 48 because that's what I sync up with my camera. If I choose the 44.1, then I'm going to have some syncing issues in post. When it comes to the bit length, you can either choose 16 or 24 bit. Now this recorder will let you use mono or stereo signals recording into it. When you're using a lapel mic, I always just use mono since it's one channel. Now if it's a microphone that can pick up stereo or 5.1 surround sound plugged into the recorder, then I might 
uh, pick stereo, but for the most part, I pick mono, and then in post, just select which track that I want to, whether I want them to go to left or right or both, and I'll just double in post to make sure that I have stereo sound. But for the most part, I usually just select the mono. Now, one thing that I always do in this uh, setting is they have dual recording. So you can have um, set at a certain level and then also record a track at six dBs lower. So that's a really good feature. So when I do have uh, somebody talking and all of a sudden everybody starts screaming, applause, clapping, I can use that as a backup and not have clipping. But it's just a safety feature for me that I feel is necessary because I, I hate to record a ceremony, get home, and then find out I can't use the audio because it's clipped, it's set too high. So I really like the, the that feature on this thing. They also have a thing in here where it shows you warning beeps, power saving, stuff like that. I usually don't worry about. Um, when I start my day, I put a fresh new battery in there and I know it's good to go throughout the day because I mean a battery's super cheap compared to not you know losing power and shutting off you can set what type of battery it is when you put it in there and then it will let you know how much recording time you have left depending on the different batteries that you use so now i'm gonna show you guys some clips from a wedding that i did and you guys kind of let me know what you guys think of the quality of this um, little recorder i absolutely love this thing for me it's the quality the convenience to put in somebody's pocket i can leave it there all day it's just small and there's a lot of safety features that when I get home, it's, the mic didn't come unplugged. It didn't accidentally push stop. So for convenience and what I'm doing, especially when it comes to weddings, um, this is definitely, I definitely recommend getting one of this over like a Zoom H1. So really high quality. Um, I'm going to do some more tests, but you know what I think of the audio quality in post. But for the price point, I mean, this is only 200 bucks for a recorder and a lapel mic. So I would definitely uh, recommend this. Um, I'll put a link in the description to B&H where I bought it from. Thank you, guys. One of the topics they were discussing was how they wanted their ceremony to be personal and intimate. We understood that completely since we had felt the same way back when we were planning our wedding. We told them that we wanted it to be someone who knew us to officiate the wedding instead of a stranger so it would really have a personal touch. So they started going through a list of family and friends who they would like to have do it. Well, after I heard countless names mentioned, all who I'm sure are here today, graciously, I said, you guys really don't have to be shy about asking me. Don't make a big production out of it. I'm really happy to do it.